Hi there, Justin Stiebel, your associate golf professional here at Baby Golf and Country Club with this week's tip from the pro. Essentially uh, learning how to hit your wedge three different distances. For today, uh, what I have in my uh, hands is my lob wedge. Typically hit my lob wedge from 80 yards in and I find from playing with a lot of members here at the club, they really struggle at those gap areas, you know, 80 yards, 60 yards, 40 yards. How do we know what club to hit? How do we know how far to hit it? Um, and what I typically tend to see is a lot of members get worried about hitting it so far that they set up to the golf ball and then they totally, you know, decelerate on the way through and then they end up blading the ball and sending it over the green or they end up really chunking the ball and hitting it four or five feet in front of you. With this drill that you can do on our driving range, which in my opinion is one of the best ranges in the city for working on your wedge game, uh, you should be able to really get a lot better from those iffy yardages from 80, 60, 40 and so on. So I have my 60 degree wedge. Uh, you can practice it with anything you'd like, you know, your 52, your 56 or your 60. Whenever you're setting up, your setup is going to be the same. Your ball is going to be in the middle of your stance. Feet are going to be shoulder width apart. The first question you have to ask yourself is how far do I hit my full wedge? So for me, with my 60 degree, I know I hit that wedge 80 yards on a full swing. So if I have a green that's directly in front of me here and I'm going 40 yards, I know directly off the bat that my full swing is right here. Therefore, if I go half, drive through with the same power, I should get that ball to the green pretty effortlessly. The key thing is, is that you want to always continue with the same amount of power on the way through. You never want to decelerate. Never take anything away from the follow through. So again, we're going back halfway, then driving through. The key thing is, is that you don't want to decelerate. You want to rotate all the way around and make sure that your stomach still reaches the target. I find when a lot of people are in at close yardages, what they tend to do is they get so worried and it's more of they back off and they kind of get worried and their whole posture kind of goes out the window. Same thing goes if you have a 60 yard shot. If you have a 60 yard shot and you hit this about 80 yards, you know it's about 75% of your swing. So again, we're going back up to here. We're not going to be here. We'll be somewhere in the middle with the same drive. Always the same drive. Thank you very much for listening to this week's tip from the pro. Hopefully this helps you from those iffy yardages. Can't wait to see everybody in the golf shop.